Hello everyone, this is the answer to the challenge problem that I have posted in class. And looking at the given, this one requires implicit differentiation. The problem is find dy over dx if sine squared xy minus x over y equals 1. Okay, so to do implicit differentiation, we differentiate term per term with respect to the variable x. Well, before we proceed to differentiating the given, let me first rewrite the given into sine of xy raised to the second power minus x over y equal to 1. So the first term could be differentiated using the chain rule or the generalized power rule okay the exponent 2 we shall write it as a factor 2 times sine of xy times we differentiate sine of xy the derivative of sine is cosine so cosine of xy and from our chain rule we still have to differentiate xy and looking at it this is a product between x and y and so to get its derivative we still have to make use of the product rule and the product rule says okay the derivative of a product is equal to the first times derivative of the second in this case it's y so we shall be writing here dy over dx plus the second factor which is y times the derivative of x which is 1 so instead of the let me just make the necessary correction this has to be okay, minus so we're done with the first, we now proceed to the second term. And looking at the second term, it is a quotient. So it's a quotient of x and y. So we have to make use of the quotient rule to differentiate the second term. The quotient rule says derivative of a quotient is equal to the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times derivative of the denominator over the square of the denominator so its derivative would be let me enclose it in a pair of parentheses the denominator which is y y times derivative of the numerator derivative of x is equal to 1 so times 1 minus minus the numerator x the numerator is x so minus x times the derivative of the denominator okay so that's dy over dx all over the square of the denominator which is y squared Okay, again, let me change this into a bracket. Equal to the derivative of 1, which is a constant, is 0. Okay, so let's simplify this further by applying distributive property of multiplication over addition. By DPMA, multiplying this factor to each term inside our grouping symbol then we'll end up with 2x sine of xy cosine of xy sorry let me just write it properly cosine of xy dy over dx that's from here let me just show you where i got that from here so after multiplying the two or the product of the two rather is 2x sine xy cosine xy dy over dx 
Then we also have to multiply this by the second term of the second factor, which is y. So plus y, or 2y rather, sine xy cosine xy. Okay? And this I could move to the other side of the equation or by applying addition property of equality, add on both sides this fraction. So on the other side, we shall write, let me write y minus x dy over dx all over y squared. Okay? So our goal here is to find dy over dx. So simplifying it by um, multiplying both sides by y squared. Okay, we multiply on both sides y squared and that gives us 2 so to eliminate this because we would like to eliminate this uh, fractional part here. Okay, so we multiply the whole equation by uh, y squared. So that gives 2, sorry, 2x y squared sine of xy cosine of xy dy over dx plus okay after multiplying this with uh, 2y then the product would be 2y cube 2y cube sine of xy cosine of xy is equal to y minus x dy over dx. Okay? Our next step here is to collect all terms having dy over dx. So let's put this together. Okay? So let's write these two terms on this side of the equation. So 2x 2x y squared sine xy cosine of xy plus okay or dy over dx plus x dy over dx equals y minus 2y cube sine of xy cosine of xy okay now we can factor this out okay or bring it out dy over dx times 2x y squared sine of xy cosine of xy plus x equals y minus 2y cube sine of xy cosine of xy. So let's continue on the other side. Okay, so let me insert that one. So from here, from our previous step, we have dy over dx times 2xy squared sine of xy cosine of xy plus x equals y minus 2y cubed sine of xy cosine of xy okay now to finally get rid of this factor we divide the whole equation by by this so dividing both sides by by this gives dy over dx equals y minus 2y cube sine of xy 
cosine of xy all over 2 where we could begin with x all over x plus 2x y squared sine of xy cosine of xy or you may express it in factored form uh, since y is a common factor in the numerator you can write it as 1 minus 2y squared 1 minus 2y squared sine of xy cosine of xy all over and here also we have a common factor x 1 plus 2 y squared sine xy cosine of xy okay so from here i think we can still simplify this part uh, express this as sine of 2xy in like manner this uh, sine of 2xy so take note remember that sine of 2x is equal to 2 sine x cosine x and therefore sine of 2xy is equal to 2 sine xy cosine xy okay so please take note of this so that we can still express our answer in this manner dy over dx is equal to y times 1 minus y squared sine 2xy oh, I hope you can follow that from here okay 2 sine xy cosine xy is this sine 2xy so there we have it sine 2xy all over let's do the same in the denominator x times 1 plus again 2 sine xy cosine xy is sine 2xy so we can concisely express it as 1 plus y squared sine 2x okay and so that's it so i think this is the final answer okay so dy over dx is equal to y over or y times 1 minus y squared sine 2xy over x times the quantity 1 plus y squared sine of 2xy so who got the correct answer let me find out Okay, thanks for watching.